if I had to write my autobiography, it would probably be entitled, I never wanted to be a perfumer, mm -hmm. or I never and wanted to be an orchid on. grower, or I never wanted to be a scientist or any of the above. It just happened. In many ways, I'm a dilettante. Freeze-dried mango. Freeze Some of it has become productive. Oh, God. <laughs> I started my orchid business 16 years ago, and then 12 years ago, I think it's 12 going on 13, I started my perfume business. Apparently, I'm more famous as a perfumer than a scientist. Although I was just recently quoted in the New Yorker for some work I did on habituation to sounds. I see perfume as, you know, it makes peop people happy. It makes people feel things. It makes, it's like uh, writing music or doing art. I had always dabbled around with some essential oils and things and started dabbling and made some perfumes that were sort of like orchid fragrances. The first one I think I made was red catlia. I've gone from trying to do something that recreated flower scents, which was my initial experiment, to doing something that's much more, I would say, abstract. This is an experiment. This is Artemisia tridentata. All of my perfumes have character. I try to give them character so that they're different from anything else that's out there. All of them are like my children. How can I have a favorite? But in terms of personal stake in it, uh, Nightflyer is my favorite because I did research on bats for many years and thought that I really needed to do some kind of bat perfume and did it. And it was bat for a while and now it's Nightflyer. <laughs> Same perfume. Can I have you say that you won an Art and Olfaction Award for Woodcut? I won an Art and Olfaction Award for Woodcut. And I just dusted off my golden pear in case anyone wants to see it. <laughs> <laughs> it was sort of a vindication of what I do. It was acknowledgement that what I do is good. And that's always nice. I like the Dev series. Mm -hmm. I especially like Dev 2, I think. <laughs> I did that in conjunction with a person who was writing a book called Quantum Demonology. There is Quantum Demonology. It was sort of serialized on a blog, and as I read each part of it, I was working on one of the perfumes. So they kind of follow a story. And I like to do things like that. We do everything in-house. So I formulate the perfumes, I produce the concentrates for the perfumes, we dilute the perfumes, we bottle the perfumes, we package the perfumes, and we send the perfumes out. It's everything. We don't outsource anything except making boxes, which I can't, you know, obviously we're not going to do that in-house and bottles. I'm not into glass blowing. <laughs> Do you have an interest in learning how to produce boxes? No. I have absolutely no interest in making boxes. <laughs> <laughs> and no interest in making bottles. <laughs> a customer actually just wrote to me and said, thank you for keeping your perfumes affordable. And that's one of my goals, is to keep it affordable for everybody, regardless of who they are. <laughs> I want to serve everybody and not be so exclusive that some people can't afford my perfumes. I have five part-time employees who work in shifts. Hannah is specialized for orchids. Ella will do both. She's omnipotential. Right now, Vesta is just working with the orchids. And then I have another person who's a neighbor down the street, Chantel. She's the one who usually makes samples.
people come in certain days of the week, certain times. The rest of the time, I can get in here and do what I need to do, which is make concentrates mm -hmm. and prepare things for them to do their work. I'm trying to keep the business to the point where we can do all of it in-house because I think that's a selling point. Is that, you know, this isn't made in some factory somewhere. It's made by real people in a real environment where we do things ourselves. It's artisan perfumery on a kind of mass scale. People ask me, are you going to retire? And I say, retire from what? <laughs> I like doing what I'm doing. Why should I retire? <laughs>